So we spent two nights last week at Alton Towers in the Enchanted Village, as shown here. I felt like Bilbo Baggins in the Shire. Some lovely green foliage, including some blue Agapanthus. It was Lodge 786. We were greeted by a log pillar, a five ton duvet, and some artwork up of the bed where you could find the fabled fog of the village. And some amenities here. And on the first night, dinner was had at the Rollercoaster restaurant adjacent to Galactica, where your meal is served to your table on miniature tracks. I opted for the chicken cheese waffles. Chicken was delicious. And a side portion of chips. Next day, this is the main promenade where we entered the park from the monorail. Some beautiful buildings on each side. And some lovely panoramic shots were taken of the lake and the fields there. A few little fun things for the kids. And we took some time to appreciate the gardens of Alton Towers there, where they've done a marvellous job. The first ride was 13 and we went on, which opened in 2010 at a cost of £15 million. And those are the tracks of Rita at the top there. Here we are at the west wing of the house outside the neo-gothic tower there. The ride hex you can see here has now closed. Then it was on to the gangster granny area where you can ride Flavio's Fandango and the bottom burpa for example. And a few videos of Raji's little shop here, if you read Gangster Granny. One of my favourite rides is this one here. This is Wicker Man, which was opened about 2018. Where the human sacrifices apparently took place inside the Wicker Man. And then it was off to Sharkbait Reef Aquarium, located in Mutiny Bay. So we just observed the unusual and somewhat colourful fish and rays that you'll see shortly. Is the ray and some strange fish and let's take a video of this little fella in all his glory putting on a shell and the black tip sharks are lurking in the main aquarium here And this mesmeric display by these jellyfish of varying sizes. Let's take a moment to admire this lovely display. The invasive lionfish, venomous, aggressive, but very beautiful. And I think it was a leopard eel, perhaps, lurking here. 
And then it was off to the newly refurbished Gloomy Wood. These were some of the characters we encountered. Off to the newly refurbished Haunted House, which tells the story of Emily Alton. And from the shack on the right there, you could purchase black ice cream with a black cone. One fun, thrilling ride, not considered one of the big ones, is Blade here. I rode this one a couple of times. On the next day, first ride from the other entrance to the park was Retro Squad, playing rock music as we oscillated there. That was a lot of fun. And we also wanted to visit the lakes in the valley of the park. A little bit of a break from the chaos of the rides and the noise. We took time to feed the fish and the quack quacks. There were some mallards lurking in the lakes. It was very beautiful and tranquil. And then it was off to Spinball Wizard, which replaced Sonic Pinball a few years ago. Another one for families, multiple carts going round, they're rotating and jerking you. Another thrilling ride there, if you ever go to Wilton Towers. And then another of my favourite rides is the Smiler which does hold a few records. I think one of them is for the amount of loops that this ride has. Black and yellow theme. You're greeted with the hypnotic music. And then I wanted to take some shots of the cards going round. As you can see, we have the vertical pull up here. adds to the thrill of the drop there. Absolutely fantastic ride, multiple loops there, high speed. And just another shot of the smiler there from further back. Please do try this ride. And the jewel in the crown Hilton Towers is the vertical drop ride here, Oblivion. And I think it was off to Catania Canyon for the runaway mine train here. Another good one for kids and adults together. And the Congo River Rapids. We didn't get too wet on this ride. And then finally we revisited the Wicker Man. It's a wooden roller coaster. No loops, but we do travel at high speed. Absolutely fantastic ride. And here we are entering. They come from pagan Celtic culture. Just before you go onto the cart a little story inside the basket while the lights go down you get the crackling sound the eerie music and you are essentially getting ready to be sacrificed and just before we go here is Nemesis which is Currently closed but under construction. I wanted to show you some shots of Nemesis there. Later in the week we visited the Think Tank and I wanted to show you some of the medical and ocular equipment that we found in this area. Check out the cool and retro vision charts here. And on the Wednesday, we took a 
trip to Bourneville, to Capri World. Unfortunately, they've stopped making the caramel and peanut big taste chocolate bar. Here is a shot of the artwork. I like how they've done this with the Rouse's box at the entrance. And then we took a trip to Telford. This is Wonderland. So that was our visits.